You look so at peace when you sleep. Compared to when you're awake. Do we really ever get peace from sleep? Where we can forget everything that's happened and dream about something wonderful. I'm sorry we have to meet in such a circumstance. I can already tell that you are rather unpleasant being here. Sleep paralysis isn't the nicest thing for everyone. Being unable to talk, to scream, unable to move. Stop trying to talk. I can hear your own thoughts. I'm here to make things better. I'm, it's rather hard to describe, but we're connected in a way. Obviously, I am unlike any sleep paralysis demon you may have experienced before. I have monitored you whilst you slept so many times. I have looked into your memories and thoughts, and that's where I came from. Do you know why you're getting so much sleep paralysis? You're fatigued and stressed, and you are not drinking enough water. It pains me to see you like that. It pains me to see that you are eating and doing less to take care of yourself while prioritizing other people. Forgetting more and more about yourself while you deal with other people's problems and having to deal with other things that have been thrown your way. I wish you could convince yourself that you should take priority, but I hope that I can do it instead. I can't stand watching you be so restless, so fatigued. I could take you away from all of it. I could keep you here with me. Forever. Live in a perfect dream world where whatever either of us want can happen. <sighs> but that would be too perfect, wouldn't it? And so, instead, anytime you get like this, and I'll be here to comfort you. Mm. No. Tell me. What has your day been like today? You don't need to use your lips. And close your eyes. Relax your body. Quit trying to move, speak. Blink. Close your eyes. You don't need to look at me. I am from your head after all. So you can imagine me. Imagine me talking to you. Without having to see. Keep your eyes closed. And tell me about how your day was in your mind. I can hear every thought you have. Hmm. Hmm. 
You're a very hard worker. I'm sorry for interrupting, but your thoughts are all over the place. I can hear you having so many different ones in the background while you try to explain your day. Did you know that you can feel me despite this just being sleep paralysis and not reality? You can still feel everything I do to you. Yeah. Allow me to comfort you with my warmth. I'll lay on top of you, and I'll whisper to you instead. <laughs> Is that better? I hope so. It truly pains me to see that you do not value yourself as much as I do. You focus on other people, other things before you remember about yourself. And that is not good. And it leads to this. It leads to your health declining. May I be a bit selfish and talk about myself? I watch how your days go. Day in, day out. Sure, her only pop up in sleep paralysis, but I think I am more than just a sleep paralysis demon. I found myself wanting to be real, so I can protect you from everything, so I can take some of the work and do it along your side. I get so jealous when you talk to girls. I tend to overthink and I feel like that girl could be your future wife. <sighs> it doesn't just happen to girls. It happens to anyone. Anyone who talks to you. I just want to take you away from them. In case they try to give you more work. More stress. I want to protect you from everything. I want to be there for you in more than just in your head. But it isn't something that seems possible. I just want to show you that I care. And I... I think I might love you. I don't completely understand it, but after seeing it so much, maybe this is how it feels. I'd ask you to get sleep paralysis more. But I know it's quite a scary experience. But maybe I can change that for you. Maybe I can make you enjoy it. Enjoy time with me. Your body is very nice to lay on. It feels nice just brushing my arm down your body. Comforting in a way. Even though I'm supposed to be the one comforting you. 
I ended up being a bit selfish. <laughs> Quite a few hours have passed now. You'll be waking up soon to go about your day. Can I tell you something? The alarm clock you chose is stupid. Please change it. <laughs> we could stay like this every morning. And I could wake you up and wish you an amazing day. I'd always be here. You'd always remember that there's someone looking out for you. There's someone monitoring and caring about you. Wanting you to take care of yourself. The thoughts in your head that randomly come up and tell you certain things that you forgot to do. That's me. I always want to look out for you. I always want to be there for you. I'm glad I was able to talk to you like this. You let your negative thoughts get in the way so much and then you doubt the positive ones. The fact that you're brave, strong, Good looking. You made it through so many dark periods in this lifetime. And you're still pushing forward. There were points where you didn't know if you would be able to get out of situations and yet you persevered and got through it. I'm very proud of you. You've done an amazing job so far. So please, continue doing so, while also working on yourself, because you are very, very important. Not just to me, but to the others in your life. I know they don't want to see you slowly hurt yourself. So do me and the ones you love a favor. It's okay to show emotion, to be weak, to be vulnerable, sensitive, to feel negative emotions. It's completely normal. Don't bottle them or try to hide them. You can let things go. Don't be afraid to say no or to say that it's too much work for you. You are a human too. And humans are very fragile. No matter how strong they decide to try showing themselves. They are all fragile by nature. The more they work on themselves, the stronger they become. And here, you need to start valuing yourself more before I come in here next time and decide to fight you. <laughs> I hope you can feel this.
It's almost time. Make sure you have a good day today. I'll be here rooting for you. Next time, go to bed earlier. <laughs> Do your best today. I'm very sorry, I haven't made a wholesome in a while. Um, I'm gonna be getting back onto series making every and all of that lovely jazz uh, very soon. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I could have had a pretty lewd spin on a sleep where I was just steaming. You know what? That's a future video. Anyways. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weeks, and um, make sure you drink plenty of water, and fucking take care of yourselves, otherwise I will visit your dreams. Wait, actually, maybe that's a good thing. I, I, I won't visit, then there's no threat. I, drink, drink the, drink the goddamn water, okay?